Good afternoon, class. My name is John, and today I'll be talking to you about one of my favorite music artists. But before we can do that, we do need to backtrack a little bit. The year is 2006. The country music scene is dominated by the same familiar names, Keith Urban, Tim McGraw, and it's a very intimidating crowd to try and navigate. Yet a 17-year-old girl from Pennsylvania was about to break through the scene, and the entire music industry was never the same again. Taylor Swift dropped her debut self-titled album on October 24th, 2006, a diaristic look at the life of a regular teenage girl, a demographic previously uncharted in country music. She started to dominate the charts. Her first album was very consistent on the charts, unheard of for a debut album. Over the course of the next 15 years, Taylor Swift continues to put out stellar, commercially and critically successful work. However, certain narratives have haunted her throughout her career. Taylor Swift doesn't write her own songs. Taylor Swift only writes about exes. Taylor Swift is mean, greedy, irrelevant. I'm here to talk to you today about why those narratives are outright false and how Taylor Swift deserves more respect and recognition overall. Through her incredible once-in-a-generation songwriting skills, her passion for artist rights have massively changed the very foundation uh, she broke through. And I will show you that through discussing her writing her own songs, her activism for artist rights, and her already incredible legacy she's left at just 32 years old. Taylor Swift said uh, herself that first and foremost, she is a songwriter over a singer, and that fact has rang true over her entire career. Writing songs since she was 12 years old, she had a dream of one day having her song sung back to her, and that dream is what drove her to where she is today. Barely a teenager, Swift would visit local radio stations, handing uh, out CDs of self-penned, self-recording the songs in hopes of getting some recognition. Impressed by her boldness, and because her talent was already evident, Sony Ackley reached out to her and started negotiations for a record deal. She couldn't believe it. A big name like Sony wanted her. Just one catch. Swift would have to sing songs written by men over twice her age. That was all Taylor needed to hear and she walked away from Sony, eventually finding a label that would allow her creative control. That creative control is what propelled her to, from star to superstar and what separates her from the rest. At just 18, Swift wrote and produced her entire third album, Speak Now, herself. Lyrics, arrangements, production, all done by her, incredibly unheard of in the industry, especially for a young girl. But she proved the dissenters wrong again when Speak Now sold a million plus copies in the third week, earning the highest selling week of any female country song. Her self-written song, Mean, went on to earn a Grammy because of her talent as a songwriter and her perseverance to do what she loves. A whole new generation of senior songwriters have emerged hoping to achieve just what Taylor Swift did at such a young age. As Taylor Swift continues to face massive success, moral dilemmas start to develop within the music industry, all thanks to the massive force that streaming has become. In 2014, Apple announced their new streaming platform, Apple Music. However, there were fine details that would amount to artists not getting paid during the three-month free trial platform was offering. Despite already being on her fifth successful album, Swift felt she needed to make her opinion know and fight for the smaller artists. In November 2014, Swift released an open letter to Apple, stating her grievances with the policies. She made it clear that this was not about her, but about the smaller artists who would face much more negative financial consequences. Thanks to her massive fan base, the letter quickly went viral and prompted a response from Apple, who told her they would change their policy to allow for fairer compensation. This was a huge win for the smaller artists in the industry, and thanks to Taylor, would now be compensated for their work. In addition to Ua, her financial activism, Taylor Swift has been very passionate about the right to own your own work. In a very publicized battle, Swift lost the masters to her entire discography in betrayal from her label. This uh, sparked her to become very vocal uh, about the predatory nature of the music industry and the suffocating contract that artists are forced to sign. Never again, she said, should another artist be faced with such a horrific situation. Since her vocalization and call-outs, artists have stated to, to negotiate better terms. Now aware of what could potentially happen, Swift herself started the trailblazing a project to take her work back by re-recording all of her old albums under that label. Overall, her activism in the music scene has uh, far and wide changed the landscape and has made it a healthier, safer place for artists to grow. Despite concrete commercial and critical success, Taylor Swift continues to face critical and uh, irrelevancy criticism or that she has become stale. 
That is objectively not true and has uh, b- since been the start of her career. At just 32 years old, Swift uh, is already Billboard's music uh, longest reigning act of the top 100, spending a combined 50 weeks at number one. She's become the first woman to chart four albums simultaneously on the charts. Her critical success uh, is just as impressive as the commercial. She is tied uh, for most wins of Album of the Year at the prestigious Grammys and the first woman uh, to win that award three times. She has the most American Music Awards of any artist, and she has won Billboard's Woman of the Year twice, the only one to accomplish this feat. Taylor Swift is a force of nature, and with all her success, it is no wonder that a new generation of artists have already attributed their inspiration to her. Olivia Rodrigo, Conan Gray, Maisie Peters and are all up-and-coming names that have publicly thanked Swift for her work and contributions to the industry. There is no greater evidence of relevancy than your legacy, and Swift is still at the beginning of her career, so it will be interesting to see uh, where her legacy goes. But one thing for sure, Taylor Swift is not irrelevant. Taylor Swift has accomplished incredible feats in her relatively short career, from inspiring uh, young teens in their bedrooms that were once just like her to changing the entire landscape of the music industry. It is easy to see why Swift is such a polarizing figure. Society is always looking for ways to tear down young, independent, uh, and successful artists, which is what, which has never been clearer with some of the narratives that have followed Swift throughout her career. From having her talents doubted, her intentions misrepresented to her legacy threatened. Taylor Swift has faced many complicated, controversial situations, yet she continues to stick to her morals and roots, proving that many of the critics wrong with her savvy actions, genuine personality, and once-in-a-generation talent. Her success speaks for itself. There is no telling where Taylor Swift will go in her career. She already seemed to have done it all, but there is one thing Taylor Swift has taught us, it to, is to not count her out. And I would like to finish this by adding that Beyonce does not have the best music video of all time. She didn't even have the best music video of the year. Thank you.